What's happening guys? Welcome back to another video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment. And without any further ado, we're going to get to today's failure. Uh, it's not that great. Uh, we are still learning and it's a fresh system. This is going to be about our aquaculture. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and go through you guys uh, with you guys to show you what we're doing to deal with the complications we're having and um, what we've learned. So those of you that know, this is our first aquaculture outside, but it is not our first fish tank. We're very, very familiar with fish tanks. Um, you can see like it's a fairly healthy system, but um, what you can't see is, well, not only the dead fish, but it also has like this, um, this smell because of the dead fish lately. Um, why do we have dead fish, you probably ask? Well, we had complications with temperature and filtration um, so right here those of you who remember our sand and gravel filter you can see I basically just bypassed it because um, well this system crashed it just could not keep up with the flow of our water pump and um, some of the fish wanted to swim in so we had to add a filter over here and that filter um, it uh, slowed it even more so it was just backing up overflowing everywhere this is working phenomenally haven't had any issues with that biofilter yet but we have had issues in here now because we had new new tank syndrome and all the complications we've been having the fish they got a fungus outbreak you see it the, these fish passed away last night uh this is not a a, a normal occurrence they were doing fine the other day um, so we're, what, what we're gonna do is try to cycle the tank better we thought we had cycled it property properly but I think when we un it just bypassed this sand and gravel filter there wasn't enough uh, bacterium to feed on you know it, it just really unbalanced the system so we're gonna get the dead fish out of here and uh, to help treat it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be placing guppies and breeding some guppies in there before we try to add fish. And we're gonna add some of this fungus clear. Um, we're just gonna add random amounts. Uh, by random, I mean what we're gonna do is sit down and read and go under what is recommended for this tank size. Another thing that's most likely causing this is temperature. Uh, so in terms of temperature, um, we're gonna have to get back there. There was a swing in temperature. I had reset it for when it was warmer weather and I forgot, just it completely, um, you know, surpassed me to remember to, let's get back here, um, turn it up a little bit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come down over here and we're gonna set the temperature. Although the temperature is set at 26, 27, 28, do 29. The current temperature, it says it's 18 and heating. Well, is it heating? I think, I do believe, yeah, it's heating. It wasn't, but it is now. Um, I'm not sure why it wasn't heating, but that's probably a really big reason. If it got too cold, it was on the warmer side yesterday. So that's probably why we had such a bad outbreak. Get this put back over here. This is another project we were working on, and uh, like I'm, like I said, I know y'all can't smell it, but you can definitely smell this tank. It does not smell pleasant. Um, so according to this, what we're gonna do is uh, I think I'm gonna do the fizz tabs first because, albeit yes, a little bit. I mean, it's not the greatest, but dead fish do help cycle the tank. So at this point. I need to at least leave them for a day or so, but we need to treat the complication. And I did do a water change yesterday at about a 10, 20%, and that apparently wasn't enough. So I'm gonna do the fizz tabs for a day or two, and then, or however long it says, I think it's, let's see, this one is uh, one tab for every 10 gallons of water. Uh, four days later, so okay. So what we'll do is we'll put some tabs in. We'll put half of what we have most likely. Wait four days, do a 25% water change, and then add it again. And then when we add, uh, sometime in this period, uh, when we're, we're adding all this is when we'll take the dead fish out. That way the bacterium can at least cycle 
but we can take care of the fungus. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up and then we'll be right back. And we're back. So these are four tablets. It is only for 40 gallons, but I only have seven tablets. So we're gonna have to make that work. Um, especially since we're treating multiple problems all at once. You are supposed to pre-dissolve, but that's normally for an aquarium that has live fish since most of our fish have passed. I'm gonna go ahead and treat it. Um, you can see they're already starting to kind of fizz down there. It's a little green and um, they're gonna go to work. So that's pretty much it. Um, there are more efficient ways to cycle, but we already have the loss. So we might as well start treating the tank. And um, I don't wanna give this to the chickens, the dead fish, only because we treated this tank. So what we'll do is we'll dig a hole somewhere in the yard where the dogs can't get it and we will um, bury them out there respectfully. Uh, this, they was doing good, but right around, like I said, right around the time our aquaculture originally crashed and uh, the temperature fluctuation, since I forgot to turn it up a little, the heater up a little bit, um, definitely caused some issues to where we had an outbreak. Uh, it's not something common for us, but I'm, I'm, I mean, it has, we have had a, a fungal outbreak an outbreak once before in the two years we've been keeping fish in total. So that's not too bad. And it was, it was mostly when we got some fresh fish that we didn't quarantine from um, a, a pet store. Uh, it wasn't uh, like a small pet store. It was one of the big box stores. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Like I said, be kind out there. Peace. Have a great day. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, or drop a comment.